You know, everything you do in life begins with an intent. Uh, because intent is uh, intangible, you can't see it or feel it, golfers seldom even consider it. And that's too bad because nothing is going to influence how you swing uh, more than your intent. Uh, for example, when I give playing lessons, uh, let's say I'm giving a playing lesson to a guy on the, uh, on the 12th tee at Goose Creek, a par 5, has OB going down the right side of the fairway. And he, he sits up and he hits the ball out of bounds. And I'll always ask, what were you thinking? What was your intent? And uh, he, he says, well, you know, Phil, I, I thought I could get home in two today from this tee, and I wanted to hit it hard, so that was my intent is to hit it hard. And I said, well, that's great. You know, you did hit it hard. You hit it, you know, 30 yards out of bounds, but you swung hard. That was your intent, and you did it. Your body did it. Your body responded to your intent. I mean, your intent wasn't A to B. It wasn't aimed on the left side of the fairway, just to the right side of that sand trap. Your intent was just swing hard. If the same golfer is playing 18 that day on at uh, Goose Creek, and it's a, it's a long par four with water bordering the right side of the fairway, and he gets up and he hits the ball well into the water. Again, I ask him, what was your intent? What were you thinking? And he says, my intent was positive that time. I was thinking, don't go into the water. And, and that's not a positive intent. I mean, if you think don't go into the water, you know, you can't see don't. It just brings the water into play. You just... You see the ball subconsciously going into the water. A positive intent is just to aim left of those sand traps, A to B. See where your ball wanted to go and forget about the water. You know, the other day I was uh, giving a lesson on the, to a, a lady golfer, a good golfer, and uh, her, her, she was, had a nine iron over the over a sand trap onto the green. And uh, she made a bad swing. You know, she hit it fat and hit the ground first and dribbled about uh, 80 yards. And I asked her... Uh, you know, what were you thinking? What was your intent? And, and, and she says, well, my intent, I saw that sand trap, and I thought, well, I might top it and go into the sand trap. And so I didn't want to do that. So I thought, keep my head down, keep my head down. And I said, well, you did. You did keep your head down. I saw your swing. You didn't move your head. Boy, you were rock solid. You didn't swing. You kind of hacked down on the ball, and that's why you hit it fat. Uh, and that's why you got the result. Your, your intent is supposed to be where you want the ball to go, not, not trying to, you know, to control your body. Even on the uh, a putting green, uh, you know, a, a, a player will have like a three-foot putt, and they'll miss it, and they'll be frustrated, and I'll ask them, what were you thinking before that putt? What was your intent before that putt? And they say, well, you know, I saw, it, you know, it, it was going to break, and I was thinking, you know, don't pull it, you know, don't pull it, and then I think, well, or they'll say, I tried to keep my club face really square, really square club, but none of those have to, anything to do with making the putt. You know, Nicholas said, I never missed a putt in my mind ever. I always see the ball go in the hole. Uh, so even on the putting green, uh, you know, you, the, you can let your, your mind can wonder and you can have a, an unproductive uh, intent. You know, intent, it's so, it's very, very powerful and, and uh, golfers use it in a, a detrimental way. Uh, instead, uh, and it, it makes the game far more difficult than it really is. If you, if you, you learn to have powerful, uh, supportive intents. Golf would be better like that. You you could become a better golfer. Uh, now I believe an, an empowering intent has five uh, simple common sense traits, and I, I wrote about them in detail in in my book uh, Understanding Golf. These are just five uh, obvious, uh, simple traits that uh, you can easily employ. First of all, uh, uh, an empowering intent is always externally focused. You know, you're, uh, you can't be thinking about your body. You're playing golf now. You want to think about your body, you can do that on the practice tee. You've got to play with what you got. So your intent is always where you want the ball to go, A to B. You've got to trust now. You've got to trust what you got. Your body knows how to, how to create this play. So it has to be externally focused. Secondly, your, your intent has to be positive. You know, if I'm going to hit a high 8-iron to the left side of the green, okay, I see it on the green. That's a positive intent. If I think uh, don't hit it in the sand trap or don't top it, those are not positive intents. So your intent has to be positive. Third, your intent has to be specific. It can't be uh, just hit this drive out there somewhere and hopefully it gets in the fairway. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's not specific. Uh, saying I'm going to hit the ball down the left side of the fairway towards that distant tree, that is specific. So that's, that's pretty easy. Fourth, the, the intent has to be single-minded. Quite often, uh, I'll be, golfers will be, they'll have two, three, four intents on the same swing. 
you know, they'll uh, they'll get on the tee and they'll say, my intent is to hit my drive right down the middle of this fairway. I can see it right there, 200 yards out. That's my intent. Okay, good positive intent. And I also don't want to go OB. Well, now you got two intents. And I also want to keep my head still. Okay, now you got three intents. And I also want to swing within myself. Now you got four. Who knows what's going to happen? You're just rolling dice uh, about this time. <sighs> Finally, the intent has to be comfortable. Let's say you're playing the 18th at Goose Creek. It's a long par fourth, water all the way down the right-hand side, and you hit a pretty good drive for you. And you're in the fairway, and you're thinking, wow, you know, I've never gotten this green in two before. I could do it today. And you're thinking, well, i got to carry it about 200 yards over water, uh, but I can do it. If I hit my three wood perfect, I can do it. Uh, that's not a comfortable intent. You're not going to be comfortable over the ball. You're going to be tense. You're going to be thinking about the ball going in the water. You're going to think, don't go in the water. Keep your head. Forget about it. Have a comfortable intent. Uh, uh, play to your ability. If you feel uncomfortable, just take the nine iron. Aim down the left side of the fairway. You got It's a big area to hit to. And you come in. The worst you're going to make is a, a five. And you can still make a par. So it's comfortable. So those make it comfortable. So those are the... Uh, five common sense traits uh, of, uh, of a positive empowering intent that, that I write about a lot in my book. Uh, now, always creating a positive empowering intent before every play is a learned skill. It's not easy. You have to work at it. You have to train your mind like you train your body. But uh, the rewards are well worth the effort. You know, this is very important.